Good afternoon, John O'Flaherty, the B3 Burner. And what I have for you today is a look at updates for eight Bay Area bridges, San Francisco Bay Area bridges, courtesy of FlightSim.to. Well, if you're a flight, flight simulator enthusiast, especially if you're using the new Microsoft Flight Sim 2020, and you haven't seen this site, you're going to want to know about it. FlightSim.to. Uh, TO is the World Wide Web extension for Tonga, uh, which is a small island country out in the Pacific Ocean. They do give you a number of interesting things. You have products, you have activities, you have liveries for different airplanes, scenery, or concerning and others and payware and then community. You can talk to people and if you need help, you have uh, the, the contact, the support and the knowledge base, uh, you know, standard on a lot of uh, forums and uh, websites, but we're concerned primarily with scenery, landmarks, bridges. And this is what I want to show you. To get to the Bay Area bridges, <clears throat> you can see them here. We have the Golden Gate Bridge, the Antioch Bridge. I'll, I'll tell you where all these are. San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge. And then on page two, we have the, the remaining bridges that weren't on page one, the Benicia Martinez Bridge, the Carquinas Bridge, the Richmond San Rafael Bridge, and the San Mateo Hayward Bridge. Oh, and the Dumbarton Bridge, and that rounds out all eight of them. Now, some of these replace bridges that didn't even exist Others replace bridges that were sort of there, but not well represented. And then thirdly, I'll go back to page one for you real quick here. Thirdly, there are some that don't like the Golden Gate Bridge and the San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge are not replaced by new bridges because they look fine the way they are. But what's new is the night lighting textures. I would like to give credit where the credit is due. All eight bridges were made by user Jay Gellert. So show him the love, give him credit. He's the one that made these for us. So that's the story with that. Now what I want to do is I want to open up the map of the San Francisco Bay Area and point out where all the bridges are. This here, Highway 84, is the Dumbarton Bridge, number one. This is the Hayward San Mateo Bridge, Highway 92. This is the San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge, number three. This is the Golden Gate Bridge, number four. These two are, the, remember, are the ones that don't need new bridges they just need better lights at night this is the richmond san rafael bridge interstate 580 that didn't exist at all and it was nice that they put it in there this is interstate 80 between vallejo and richmond and uh, that's the Carquina Straits Bridge. The seventh bridge is Martinez Benicia Bridge, which is 680. And then finally, number eight, the Antioch Bridge connects Contra Costa County with far southern uh, Sacramento County. Okay, eight Bay Area bridges. Let's go to the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 packages which I'm going to open up right over here, drag it up over this way. And anything you download that's third party and doesn't belong, that didn't come directly from the flight simulator standard, goes in the community folder. It's very important that these be kept separate. The official folder is all the stuff that was created by flight simulator itself. Community folder is all the third party scenery stuff. And you can see that everything that says White Arcades is a bridge. White Arcades is the company that put it together. Antioch Bridge, Bay Bridge Lights, Benicia Bridge, Carquinas Bridge, 
Dumbarton Bridge, Golden Gate lights, meaning again, only the lights are new. The bridge remains the same. Richmond San Rafael Bridge, and finally the San Mateo Bridge in alphabetical order. Before I turn on the flight simulator, I forgot to tell you, in order to see what it looks like before the bridges were put in, we need to take the bridges out of the community folder and put them inside the community hide folder. Community hide is a folder that I made up and created. It's empty right now to, to literally hide whatever was in the community folder. I just gave it that name so that I can easily find it again once I want to use it again. We want to see what it first see what it looks like without the bridges before we see what it looks like with the bridges. So I'm going to hit control and left mouse and click on all eight bridges as such. Right click, cut, community hide, paste. There they are. Now we're ready to go in to the flight simulator and first see everything without the bridges in place. You know, now that I think about it, I'm having second thoughts of how I want to go through this. Originally, I wanted to go through all the old bridges, all eight of them, stop, put the files in the proper folder, and then go through all the new bridges. Problem is, by the time we get to the eighth new bridge, you'll forget what the eighth old bridge was. So I think what I'm going to do now, I'll go through each bridge old and new together, as opposed to going all old and then all new. So uh, you'll be able to see the difference between them much more readily. We go back to the file folders and remember I created a folder that says community hide where I wanted to hide the bridges. We don't want them hidden anymore. We want all eight of these to be uh, put into use. So I'll hit control A to move all of them at the same time. Cut to move up to the next level community and paste. And there they all are. They normally, and there should be in alphabetical order. They're below Yosemite Valley, but that's just because we put it in there. If I refresh this, the file, now White Arcades is above Yosemite. Okay, and we're in the flight simulator. You can tell by the adventure music that's playing in the background. We're going to uh, go to the world map. And we're going to go to the San Francisco Bay Area, because that's where the bridges are. And you can kind of see them outlined a little bit here, without giving too much of the secret away. And we're going to start off at Palo Alto Airport, and the reason why is because it's just south of the Dumbarton Bridge, which is located here. And we want to hit these in a south to north fashion. So that's what we're going to do. So we'll start off on runway 31, set his departure, and fly. Okay, and here we are. And we're ready to fly. Pretty much a clear day. For the most part. Let's dial this in and fly north. Are we ready? Let's uh, bring our flaps down to 5% or, or excuse me 10 degrees. All right. Release the parking brake and away we go. Okay, and so we've departed 
Palo Alto Airport. And we work our way up toward the Dumbarton Bridge. So remember, this is without the bridge add-on. Okay, so they've drawn it, and I believe it's accurate height, but there's a big gap in it where it doesn't continue. I'm going to take you over here onto the east side. So when these guys remodel these bridges, they also work on the approach roads, they work on the elevations, and they work on elevation errors, like things that put the bridges into the ground or into the water. Put the roadways underwater. All things that wouldn't happen actually in real life. Now, this part's fine. That's not part of the bridge surface. That's that's like that's like levee ground. Oh, by the way, we are in a Cessna 172 in Kenworth Air livery. Kenmore Air, excuse me. Tail number November 7255 Whiskey. And actually, they didn't do a bad job on the original toll plaza. They make small improvements to it, but you know what? That's actually pretty darn good. Okay, so now that we've seen the Dumbarton Bridge and or the lack thereof, and as we look ahead, you can see that the Dumbarton Bridge now has more of a raise to it than it did before. Maybe almost too much of one. In real life, I don't know if it goes this high and then down again. It almost is the same model as the San Mateo Bridge, only it's straight. Whereas the San Mateo Bridge, you'll see, has a bend in it about three-fourths or seven-eighths of the way there. Let's switch back to exterior view. The bridge is fully built. There's no gap where uh, it's suspended in midair or left to put the cars in the water. And as you get down here, you can see they put in details like street lights. Look at that. Individual lights. Try not to hit one of them. And you'll see that there's a uh, there's a little white strip that goes out part way. Maybe that's supposed to be a pier. Uh, I don't know. But at any rate, the bridge is definitely an improvement and matches up to the to the highway uh, below it very well. And now we're going to go see if they did anything to the toll plaza. The toll plaza is still there, but it does look a little different. It has a white roof that goes all the way across uh, the uh, freeway I, that I don't think existed before. Let's take a close look at this. We'll put it on pause, flight. This little piece of white that goes all the way across, I don't think it existed before. These white pillars didn't exist. This building probably existed, but in a slightly different form. Uh, it just looks more solid, looks, looks more confident. If it's possible for a toll plaza to be confident yeah, look at that. Shows uh, it's got a number of lanes. It's got car parking for the for the uh, attendants. 
the the people who work at the toll plaza and as i said before i don't know if this white piece really exists but i know that's different from how it looked before okay and we're this is hayward we're on the east side of the san mateo bridge and this is it you can see that there's a big gap they put in a little bit of the toll plaza right here this may in fact not be half bad but look at this big gap in the bridge here then there's another big gap here and it includes just the straightaway without the bend to the left in the high rise which is a key feature of this bridge. It has quite a bit of elevation. It's an important landmark for pilots get, that are setting up their approach into SFO. The San Mateo Bridge is a prominent marker for them and it wasn't even drawn correctly. Okay, I don't have a problem with the toll plaza. They might have improved it if they did. I. Uh, I didn't notice much of a difference. So what you literally have is a bunch of cars jumping off the cliff into the water like a bunch of lemmings. Toll Plaza wasn't, the Toll Plaza wasn't designed that poorly at all. The high tension wires or towers remain the same. The only thing that's really out of place are the cars just sort of floating in midair above the water. Now, there's nothing wrong with the low section of the bridge. Where there's a problem is when we get to the high section or the lack thereof. Okay, so as we fly on, you'll notice a few things. One, this is a very long bridge. In fact, this of the eight Bay Area bridges, the San Mateo, the Hayward San Mateo bridge is the longest. Okay, they have the curve to the left. That's not the problem. The problem is we have no climb. That bridge is supposed to have a, an incline and what's called a high rise section. This bridge gets very high off the ground so the ships can pass underneath it. So we have the curve but we have no height which is a shame. Now this is the old San Mateo Bridge. You'll see the new one when I do this video next time around. And then before we get to the San Mateo side again another break in the bridge where the cars are floating through the air just above the water. So that's going to need some improvement. And don't worry, we'll get the improvement. Let's look back at it and you'll see from the San Mateo side looking back to the east. And we're back. This is the San Mateo Bridge. And they have corrected it and done it, done it right finally. Let's come around and look at the toll plaza. This is another bridge where the toll plaza is on the east side for westbound traffic. Yeah, yeah, okay. They use these white m model buildings. There we go, that's pretty much what it looks like. That's exactly what it looks like. That's the toll attendance walkway. And uh, that that's built, be correct, and really is that way. So this is the low rise portion. The important improvement is the bridge extends all the way across without an interruption. And it's got the high rise. And you'll notice ahead of us, we have that bend to the left. But unlike before, we, we have a proper incline. And there's that space between the pillars over here where ships can pass under. It's a little gap that's wider than the rest of these. Right at the summit where the bridge is at its highest. Let's look behind us for reference. You see there's a long section where it's 
just flat and at the uh, at water level let me come out over this way a little bit this is the incline and that's where it's at its highest and I don't want to lose this and there's AI aircraft it's jets coming in I told you that this is an important landmark for planes uh, getting ready to land that SFO there's our AI aircraft getting ready to land where the rabbit lights are that's uh, SFO right there that's kinda nice look at that very picturesque we're picking up his sound and he flew right in front of the Sun whoa so there's a beautiful shot of the San Mateo Bridge and even the part that's to the west of it is looking good all right beautiful view right here and that's exactly what it's supposed to look like now what I want to do is I want to get in and change the time what you'll notice is it's pitch black and the city's lit up but the bridge isn't lit up and so we're gonna go flying around and other than the cars on the bridge nothing lights up about it and in real life there's street lights on the road surface below and there's freeway lights there's lights on the tower there's string lights uh, lighting up the cables there's all sorts of stuff that's missing that we don't see so that will have to be taken care of okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause physics while I go ahead and make it dark again so right now it's 519 let's bring it up about three hours all right look at that and it doesn't show any overhead lights but it is magically lit up and so is the bottom I don't know why cement lights up but what they put is the nautical the maritime uh, nautical warning lights so that ships don't uh, run into the pillars and it has those which are a nice touch here uh, let's stop talking and I'll show it to you beautiful waxing crescent moon just coming into view after sunset all right we have strand lights on the east tower with a red beacon light on top for aircraft I don't know if in real life those light those strings or those cables light up and have strand lights but it looks nice so as I said the bridge is the same what's different is the uh, the lamps the lights There's the string lights. The big support cables are lit, and so are the strand cables that extend down to the roadway. Very nice looking, and if I'm not careful, I'm getting too close to that bridge. Ay ay ay. The center base of the center anchorage is lit with lit with red beacon lights. all four towers what a beautiful sight and that's it might not look exactly like that in fact this may be overlit but uh, before it was this dark mass of nothing there we go 
looking good. A view from the side, taking in the whole bridge. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, here we are, and now we're approaching the Golden Gate Bridge. Now, like the San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge, there's nothing wrong with this bridge. The new bridge file does not replace the bridge or make it any better. It's already good enough the way it is. It replaces the night lighting textures. Uh, we're gonna pause live flight and I'm gonna make it dark like I did the last time. Here we go. This is an improvement. This is better than the blue color it was. If you watch my Tale of Four Cities video, you saw that the Golden Gate Bridge had blue lights on it, which made absolutely no sense because they don't exist in real life. Looks like they've lit up the towers and lit up everything properly. So the lighting appears to be fixed, even though I haven't put in the new file. That's strange. Well, the new file either makes it better than that or there's no difference because uh, update version number 8, the world update number 8, changed all that. So maybe this one isn't necessary anymore. We'll have to check and we'll have to see. Now the question is, is the new file different than the current old file? If that makes any sense at all. And the answer is, to me, it looks about the same. You tell me if it looks the same as before. It looks like there's red beacon lights everywhere across. Some of the strands are lit up. Maybe they added a... Uh, Overhead lamps. Looks like that's maybe what they did. It's definitely different, but how it's different, we're going to have to go back and have a look. Let's make it a little darker. It's uh, 7.48 p.m. Let's make it, uh, there we go, 8.41. Ah, the ocean's lit below. Look at that. There's lights beneath it. It's illuminating from below. Not that you can see anything down there. And some of the strands are lit up by the towers. Yeah, they made some improvements. But the replacement file of the old file was fine. They, at least that, they got rid of that blue color before. So that's the uh, Golden Gate Bridge at night. Okay, so we are in Richmond, and that's Interstate 580 headed out to the Richmond San Rafael Bridge, and you'll notice something right away. Uh, they drew a little bit of the bridge, which I'll tell you didn't exist before, so at least they made some improvement, but there's no bridge on the Richmond side to connect the roadway to. Look down below, about over here, you'll see that's a toll plaza. People are paying for a bridge they can't cross. Consumer advocates unite. This is an outrage. 
So again, we have the lemming effect of cars driving off the roadway into the water, which in real life isn't going to get them very far. I mean, this is an impressive double cantilever bridge with an incline approach on the San Rafael side. San Rafael to the west, Richmond behind us to the east. Again, the bridge is way too low, this section of it. It needs to be higher off the ground than that. At least parts of it do, because the ships pass under here. This is a major shipping lane. I mean, there are ships that eventually go up to Sac all the way up to Sacramento. So this has to be high enough for the uh, boats to get by. Well, not just boats. I mean, huge cargo ships. You know, it's more realistic looking than it was before. So one of the simulator updates must have addressed something. Because it didn't even look this good before. It, and that's not saying much. Uh, before, it didn't show any bridge at all. That's the toll plaza right there. And even though it wasn't necessary, they uh, went and improved upon it. Again, they used these white block structures to fortify it and make it look better. This is the Richmond side, that's the San Rafael side, that's Mount Tamapias. Here are the double cantilevers levers right here. And this is the approach section, the, the incline. And it's a double deck bridge in real life. The upper deck is for westbound traffic, the lower deck is for eastbound traffic. Just like the Bay Bridge. There's the cantilever section done, modeled very nicely the way it's supposed to. And then it's at an apex. The bridge is at its highest with a gap for the ships at the second cantilever. And it doesn't look like there's cars on here. So the AI traffic isn't following this bridge. Very light traffic this, this day. Looking very much like it's supposed to, except for the lack of traffic. Uh, there we go. We got traffic on the uh, upper deck. They disappear before they get to the cantilever section. I guess the traffic isn't programmed to ride on that part. And you can see that the lanes are side by side at the San Rafael end. And at one point they model the eastbound traffic going underneath. And that's the transition where it goes underneath here. And then it merges underneath where you can see the, uh, here we go, right here. I didn't show you how it lights up in the uh, evening, the uh, Dumbarton or San Mateo bridges, but they light up nice too. So what I'll do is I'll pause physics once again, make it later at night. Yeah, so they light up and it looks like they're lighting up both the upper deck and the lower deck. At the same time, let's have a look. Yes, the lower deck is lit just like the upper deck. They have red pilot lights for the uh, ships at the base of the widest uh, pillars by the western cantilever section. They have uh, tower top beacons for aircraft. And the same goes for the second section over here. So they've done this up nicely. Okay, so you've seen the Richmond San Rafael Bridge both in day and night. Okay, and we have arrived at the Carquina Straits. So that's where the, the uh, San Francisco Bay behind us <coughs> gives way to the Straits, and they change the name of the body of water. And you'll notice that we have a problem with a border. The uh, curtain effect underneath the bridge. The northbound side's a cantilever. The uh, 
what, uh, southbound side is a is a tower, but it just doesn't look very good. Let's go over to the toll plaza and see if it's in any way, shape, or form convincing. I mean, they put it there. Whether the the new file improves it or not, I can't remember. We'll have to have a look. But they did put it there. But the bridge looks absolutely horrible. Again, just not very good looking with that uh, veil down below the surface, that vertical curtain. I don't know why it does that. The new file will improve it and I'll show you that. This is Interstate 80 below us and to the right. And this is the Carquina Straits Bridge. That's the Vallejo side. And this is the... I guess the name of the city around here is Crockett. What's important, and I'm going to pause it here, so you can see underneath the new model bridge. It's hand created in 3D without that uh, curtain effect. And the cantilever section for the eastbound traffic on the right, the far side, is much better drawn, as is the uh, westbound traffic using the suspension bridge. And at least there's appreciable separation between them. Before it seemed like the two bridges were merged with each other. Now uh, they look proper. It has orange suspension cables with the actual 3D model of this triangular piece coming out of the uh, freeway surface. The cantilever is especially impressive. That was hand-drawn. And notice that the toll plaza was block-drawn with that white roof again. All of them had that added. This is one of those rare bridges where the toll plaza is for eastbound traffic and is after you cross the bridge. You cross the bridge first and then you pay, as opposed to paying first and then you cross. A few bridges do that and this is one of them. Let's see what this bridge looks like at night. And we pause physics and we move her from 7.22 p.m. Later, later. I like that. The cable strands are, the cable uh, portion going up the towers is lit. Uh, the tower has double beacon lights on the tops for the airplanes. Uh, red beacon lights at the pedestals of the towers for ships and the westbound side lights up and the eastbound side lights up let's, let's fly over here and have a good look Okay, so that's a good close look at the suspension side. I just kind of wanted to cruise right by the cantilever bridge going eastbound and see how it looked. The cantilever towers are unlit, unlike the ones for the San, for the, uh, San Rafael bridge. So that's a bummer, but aside from that, the, uh, the lighting on the suspension side is is well done yeah it's a shame they didn't put light towers or light uh, beacons on the tops of the cantilever tower toll plazas lit really nice i like that each lane of traffic is lit fluorescently i guess okay so that's the carquina straits bridge linking Vallejo to Crockett. One more look at it, and there it is, head on. That's looking pretty good. I like it. All right, there they are. That's head on, that's as good a view as you're gonna get. Okay, and as we approach the Benicia 
Martinez Bridge. Martinez, we're headed eastbound. Martinez to the south. Benicia to the north. You see we have that same problem with the curtain effect. There's three bridges here. There's the new one, which is the northbound on the far side. This guy over here. There's the old one that's still in use for the southbound side, which is the near one. And then between them and lower is the southern is the old Southern Pacific Railroad Bridge. And I'm going to bring you to the right side of the airplane looking left so that you can see it. And the iron bridge that looks rusty. That's the uh, that's the railroad trestle bridge. And it looks like it has its realism problems too. Did they put a curtain on it? Yeah, that's crying shame. It looks just awful. In fact, the the railroad trestle bridge is kind of merged into the curtain of the southbound car bridge. You can't even see it that well. Thank goodness these files I'm about to show you improve it. And let's see how well they did the toll plaza. The new section of the of this bridge, the one we're looking at below right now, and its toll plaza opened in 2007. And the toll plaza is supposed to be from some fancy schmancy art deco toll plaza. And did they capture the essence of it here? They tried. They tried, but it's not quite right. Uh, the new one, the replacement one, is going to look much better than that. And this here is the Benicia Martinez Bridge. And you can see that this one has been reconstructed. Especially the, uh, the northbound side, the far side. Remember, these were all curtained before. Now they are not. First of all, let's look at the toll plaza. The old toll plaza, I don't think, was completely done like that. What I really notice is the the white roofed, the white topped roofs. Those seem to be done really well. Yeah, they've done that real nice. Let's look at the bridge. So we can see the railroad trestle in the middle, and then the old southbound section far away on the west side. But the newest section is the one closest to us, and they've done it quite well. Ah, you can see the Carquinas Bridge in the background as well. That shows from quite a great distance. I'm impressed. So we'll circle around again and have a look. Let's pause physics, have a look at night. And they've done a pretty good job. They have individual light posts lighting up the roadway and what I really like is all the red beacon lights at the feet of the bridges uh, for ship traffic now let's have a look at the toll plaza again want to see what it looks like at night not done badly at all it's not particularly well lit up, but they did put some light effect in it. We'll look at the toll plaza, but yet again, final time. Supposedly lit by those street lamps, or road lamps. They don't light up the trestle very well. For, for train purposes, but the roadways for the cars are lit very well. Ah, 
I don't think they put any light services on the train bridge. Just uh, beacons at the base. So they've actually done a, a darn good job lighting these up at night. So you can use this for these for VFR flight at night. That's uh, the Benicia Martinez Bridge in the daytime and the nighttime. And when I when we come back, I'll share with you the eighth of eight bridges. Okay, and here we go. We're approaching where the Antioch Bridge is supposed to be, and one of the first things you'll notice as we approach you got the freeway highway 160 this is the antioch side you've got the lead off approach and you got highway 160 on the sacramento county side the the delta side but we have nothing in the middle not to mention we have the curtain effect cars moving across the water Hey, nice attempt. At least they kind of tried. This is the eighth of eight bridges, by the way. This is as far north and east as we're going. We have the elevated section of Highway 160 in Sacramento County. But then it just stops abruptly and doesn't go anywhere. And one more quick look, looking from south, from north to south. The, the bridge just ends. I mean, just flat out ends. And here's the curtain side on the south side. It just, it just starts from the ground on its side and then ends. And there's the toll plaza, and I think the remade toll plaza looks a little nicer than that uh not much nicer because there's not much to it to begin with and here we are and this is the antioch bridge and you remember how it used to look before i don't think you had i don't think you had but a single part of the bridge that extended all the way across this one they have nice pillared uh, roadway. It's just an overpass bridge. There are no uh, suspension parts. There are no cantilevers. But it has a high point so that it can uh, let large ship traffic through. Because remember, these, uh, these ships have to go up to Sacramento. Some of them. So there's the toll plaza, and again, I think the roofs were improved. Not necessarily the, uh, the body of the toll plaza, but the roof has that block white uh, part to it. Each one of those pillars has an X-frame inside of it. And it continues across until it reaches uh, ground level. Now let me pause it while I'll again go to night view. See what it looks like at 8 o'clock in the evening. And it's not lit by anything other than the headlights of the cars. We got some beacon lights at the, at the peak. Yeah, that's looking pretty good right there. So uh, some beacon lights are, are available. All right, so that's the Antioch Bridge. You've gotten a taste of what that looks like. So with that, I'm John O'Flaherty, the B3 Burner, uh, saying good evening and enjoy the package if you download these.